Hey, my name is Simon, and today I want to show you how you can create and deploy your first application in CodeSphere. Let's dive right in. First, you want to click that new workspace icon in the top right corner. From there, you can start with either one of the repositories of your connected GitHub account, or you could take one of the templates from us. For this example, let's select this repository. Next, you want to provide a name for the workspace. Then select the appropriate computing resources below and hit the Start Coding button. This will provision the new workspace in CodeSphere. Once it's provisioned, on the left side, you should see your files and you can click any of them to make changes in our Cloud IDE. Since we just want to deploy this application as it is, let's head over to CI Pipelines. There, you can click Configure to configure steps for running for installing your dependencies. Let's run that right away. You could also define steps for running automated tests, and then you have a stage to run your application. Let's give it a second to install. Then let's scroll down to the run stage and hit the run button. You can also see the terminal output uh, just below. All right, this application is now running. In the top right corner, you could then open your deployment and see that our app is actually working. Let's test it out. All right, that works. Let's go back into workspaces and you will see the workspaces that were there before plus the newly provisioned workspace demo app. Each of them is connected to a URL. It gets automatically assigned one of these workspace ID URLs or one of the custom domains that you've connected. For example, prod A is currently connected to demo.codesphere.com. Let's see what it is. This is currently running one of our demo e-commerce shops. If we go back and select domains, scroll down a bit, you will see that this URL is currently connected to Workspace A. All right, if we click Update, we could, however, select any of our other workspaces in this team. Let's click Update. Prod B is a slightly modified version of this shop. Instead of a dark theme, it has a light theme. We could also go back to the Domains tab and select multiple workspaces to run behind the same domain. If we have two versions of a shop running, that's an A-B test. We could use analytics software to see which of them performs better. CodeSphere takes care of the traffic balancing automatically. We could also connect the same workspace twice, for example, prod A and A2. Uh, what this does is basically divide the traffic between two servers, making your site a lot faster when there's lots of traffic. All right, let's go back into domains and we can also use the same feature that we just used for something called staging, or as we like to call it, zero downtime deployments. Uh, in this staging workspace, we have another copy of our code where we would go in, apply updates first, verify that they run behind the uh, internal URL. And then once our tests are complete, we can go to domains and simply swap the two workspaces. And this is a single click deployment, no downtime. Uh, if something were to go wrong, we could go back anytime. All right. I hope this has given you some idea of what's possible in CodeSphere, and I hope you enjoy exploring it yourself.